we have couple of methods which we use to find square root of numbers we have prime factorization long division although the quickest would still be using the calculator i guess but well let us practice long division for finding square root of decimal numbers we'll start by taking one decimal number which is 0.037249 interestingly there is a way where we do not need to do any modification and we can just find the square root by doing long division like how we used to do for non decimal numbers that is for integers so for that we some way need to convert this into an integral form we need an integer right what we can do here is we can convert this decimal into a fraction so its fractional form is 037249 divided by let's count the number of zeros after the decimal 2 3 4 5 6 so 1 and 6 zeros now since i need to find its square root that means the square root of this number in the fractional form now we know that root of a by b is equal to root of a divided by root of b so this means root of the numerator divided by the root of the denominator now let's give a numerator as it is can we write this denominator as 10 to the power 6 right and root of 10 to the power 6 is actually 10 to the power 6 raised to the power half right so once we solve this uh, this we cancel out the powers it will be root of 37249 divided by 10 to the power 3 which is 1000 now this is the reduced form of my problem i just need to find the square root of this integer 37249 so let's start let's first write down the number now whenever we need to find square root using the long division method we first convert the number into pairs so we start from the right hand side and we'll start making pairs from right to left so this is our first pair the second pair and okay for the third pair there is one number missing so we can just put zero right it has not changed the number so now we have three pairs okay let's do it on a cleaner page okay now the first step after making the pairs is to look at the first pair and find a perfect square which is equal to this or less than this square of 1 is 1 and square of 2 is 4 now since 3 is less than 4 so we'll take 1 over here now we'll write it as 1 into 1 is equal to 1 okay then we will subtract this so we'll subtract 1 from 3 and we get 2 then we'll bring the entire pair down so we bring 7 2 down over here now whatever number we have just uh, put over here we'll bring it here and we'll add these two so 1 plus 1 is 2 now the next step is very crucial so what we now want is a number which we can put here and here so that when we multiply it the result is either equal to this or less than this so let's take 1 okay 21 into 1 is 21 which is very very less than this number so maybe we should try with a bigger number let's try with 5 so 25 into 5 will be 125 again 125 is very less than 272 you know taking 5 is a very good practice because if you get a number which is less than this number then you know that you need to aim for higher numbers you can go with 6 7 8 and so on but if this number is greater than the number that you have here then you need to go for smaller numbers you can try with 4 3 2 and so on so now clearly we need a slightly bigger number so let's just try with 8 28 into 8 this is 2 to 4 again it is quite close to 272 let's try one more number just to make sure that we are not doing any mistake 29 into 9 261 okay obviously we cannot go higher than 9 right so we'll have 29 9 29 into 9 which is 1 261 and now we want to subtract this so let's subtract it we'll get 11 and we bring the next pair 
downward. So this is 1149. Now the number that you just put over here will come over here and will add these two. Remember we are not adding 19 over here. We are just adding the last number that we have put over here. So 29 plus 9 is 38. Now again we need a number next to 38 and such that when we multiply it with the same number we get the result which is equal to or less than this. So let us try with 2 first. 2 to the 4, 2 into 8 is 16, 1 carry and this is 764. Let us try with 3 now. 3 into 3 is 9, 24, 114. Okay, well, so this is 383 into 3 which is equal to 1149. And a 0, no more pair left. So we are done with our long division. The square root of 37249 is 193. Let us put it over here. So we have 193 divided by 1000 which is 0 0.193. So the square root of 0 0.03, uh, 0 0.03 is 0 0.193. Alright. Let us take one more example. We have 12.96. This time we will not convert it into fractional form. We will try to find its square root using long division with this, with, this, with this number in its decimal form only. So let us start. Let's write down the number 12.96. Now one thing that we have to consider over here is, so we'll start making the pair, okay, so from right to left for the integral part, integer part of the number, which is we have only one pair. For this decimal part, we will make the pairs but from left to right. So once we do that, we have one pair, right? So you might wonder why are we doing this? So imagine just if the number was 12.9. You make the pair, 12 is a pair, okay? Now once you start making a pair over here, you cannot make it 0, 9. That would be a completely different number. So we make the pair from left to right. And since we have nothing on the right, we put a 0. Now 12.9 and 12.90, they're the same numbers, right? Similarly, if we have, let's say, 12.965, we'll start making pairs from left to right. So, we'll have first pair which is 96 and then second pair will be 50. Okay, let's come back to our problem. Now, I need to find a perfect square equal to or less than 12. Square of 3 is 9, square of 4 is 16. 12 is less than 16, so we'll take 3. 3 into 3 is 9. Let's subtract, we get 3. Now next we have a decimal. So we'll just take this decimal and put it over here. Just like how we used to do, you know, how we do with normal division when we're dividing the numbers. And then we need to bring this entire pair. Okay. Next is again, take this number, put it over here and add these two. This is 6. So now I need a number next to 6 when multiplied with the same number, I should get 396 or a number less than 396. Let's try by 5. 65 into 5 is 325. Let us try this with 6 as well. 66 into 6 is 396. Okay, so let's put it over here. 66 into 6 is 396. And after subtraction we get a 0. There are no more pairs left. So, the square root of 12.96 is 